else is new. What are you reading? I'm learning how to make pizza. I think it's time. You mean you don't know how to make a pizza? No, I mean like I want to make my own fresh dough, not like pre-made stuff where you just add your toppings. I want to make fresh dough. I got a guy. You got a guy? I got the perfect guy for you. Whoa, that was quick. Did I tell you that I got a guy? You got a guy. This guy is the best pizza maker in all of Los Angeles. Wow. No, 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 in Los Angeles, all over the world. The, the world. world? Yes. Okay. Uh, wow. I'm going to show you how to make the real Neapolitan style pizza in the house. Neapolitan. The Neapolitan. Pizza Napolitan. You don't even speak Italian. <laughs> Neapolitan. The ingredients that come from Italy, the tomatoes from well, Sanza. All the ingredients are from Italy? Uh, yeah, all the ingredients. So do we need to go to we Italy? We should probably go get probably. the ingredients. We're gonna make the dough. We start with the water. Like this, we pour all the water okay. in. Then, second thing, we melt the yeast. This is fresh yeast, Perfect. but if you don't have fresh yeast, you can use like a spoon, teaspoon of uh, dry yeast. Is making it from wood something make it better? It just uh, absorbs the humidity a little bit more than a bowl. So it is better, because we want the best. The this best. Is the best. Today. When my guy comes, Today, you I will have the best. everything you're saying is like this. Because we're in Italy now. We're in Italy. Yes. Play the music. We are going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil. Okay. This way. Now we put the salt after the yeast is melted with the water. Okay. Now that all the salt is melted, mm -hmm. we can start to put the flour, little by little, yeah. Oh, okay. So wait. Now we put all together. Wow, look at it get all doughy. Okay, put a little bit more. Okay. Wow. Now Prova is the name of your restaurant, right? Yes, Prova Pizzeria. Prova Pizzeria. What does Prova mean? Do you know? Prova means... Uh, Do I know? Do what does I it know? mean? What does it mean? Yeah. Vito, tell her what it means. Try. Yeah, try. Yeah, I said that. Try. These are... Try no, try. You try and tell us what Prova means. Prova means to try. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Simple, simple, because it's a try for me in the life. Try, try. And like what I'm trying to do with this. Yes. I'm trying, trying to, to learn new things. Yes. Prova. Now that is all together, yeah. we just dump it on the marble. Capish? Capish. Capito. Is it capito or capisce? Capito. 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 That's dialect. Yeah. Capish. So what's a capish mean? Capish. Capito in dialect. Okay. Capisha, yeah. capito, tomato, tomato. <laughs> okay, now okay. that we got all our ingredients out, then we can start to work the dough. So you work this dough for about 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. All right. There we go. Now this. bang it a little bit a couple more, couple of times. Oh, rough. Bang. Yeah, there we go. Bang. Bang. Throw it again. There we go. <laughs> So now, Vito, did she do a good job? She did a really great job. She did a great job. Getting there. Great I'm job, sure, Shane. I'm already positive that, that this pizza is gonna come out. Beautiful. Yeah, you know why? Because there's love in it. Yes. There's amore. It's amore. It's amore. How's that song go? When the sun hits the sky like a big pizza pie, it's amore. amore. After one hour, voila. Voila. My baby. A little bit of flour. Okay. We're gonna make the balls now. Cut this in four. Okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. This, like this. Wow, that is perfect. And then oh, wow. we cut it like that in okay. four. The balls should be around 250, 10 ounces. Grab it like this, gentle, gentle. And then you close. You close the inside, see? Ah, uh, putting it underneath. Put it in, yes. Very careful. When under. Those balls. Yes, under, under. Now make a ball. A little bit of flour on the pan. Yep. Right there. Okay, now we can set it up here. Right nice. That wasn't necessary. Now we put it here. Separate each other. Perfect. I tried. 
try to fix it. It's good. Okay. It's perfect. When it grows in three hours, the bo the boss is hours. Yeah, three hours. It needs to rest Woo! three hours. So what are we gonna do for three the, hours? The fermentation. Pizza while we wait for the pizza, right? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. We wait. We get a cover with plastic, and then it's ready. Good night. The buona notte. Buona notte. Buona notte. And we let it rest for three hours. Wow. See. Wow. Like I said. Oh, it's wow. rusted. Voila. Nice and soft. See the bubble? Look, look how soft it is. Now we got a touch gentle. See the smell? This is the fermentation. It's uh, active right now. This is the point where we can make the pizza. Are we ready? Yeah. We're ready. Okay. Pay attention because after this, I, wanna, I want you guys to make it. Oh, we're going to make a pizza? Yes, I will judge I mean, mine's obviously going to be better. This way. Okay. Yours be better? I'm Italian. Okay. Don't don't fight. Let's no go. Way. Let's go. Let's make. Let's make this pizza. Watch. So a little bit of flour on the bottom right here. Okay. Not too much. A little bit like mm -hmm. a rain. We cut it on the sides. Mm -hmm. Voila. Take it out. Okay. And you put it face down. Now a little bit of flour. Mm -hmm. This. See the air inside? Yes. We don't want to take it out the air. So you just press gentle. Right. Ah. Gentle. Gentle. The air to the cross. See. Now we stretch it gentle, always gentle, gentle. see? Flip it over, really flip it over, flip it over. To make it perfect, I put tomato sauce only, and then I put it in the oven, I cook it half away, mm -hmm. and then I take it out and add the, the Parmesan cheese, the mozzarella, and the basil, and the olive oil. It's because we're using fresh mozzarella. Put a little bit of uh, olive oil on the crust, just a little bit to make it more more flavorful. Now we're going to put uh, this uh, fantastic tomato. Mm. That looks like your nose yeah. tomato sauce. It does look like crazy. about, not too much, too much. So just uh, leave one inches on the crust. So we just press like this, voila. So make sure it's not, yeah. make sure it's not sticky. Yeah. Voila. Make sure to uh, have a stone already pre-eat pre for about one hour it's been in the oven. So it's nice and hot. Gentle, you slide it. We close it right away. Okay, we've been waiting for a couple of minutes. We take it gentle. Now, look at this. Wow. Look at this. Nice. See the air? He's breathing. Oh, it's beautiful. He's breathing. Oh, it smells so good. In this case, we're making the Neapolitan Margherita. Margherita. We put a little bit of basil, we break it because the flavor is inside the lid. Break it. Now we put a parmesan cheese. Okay. Then we put some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. But you know, you can do it whatever you like. You can put whatever you like. A little bit of olive oil, fresh Oof. from Puglia. Oh, wow. I like always to put a little bit more, more oil mm -hmm. on the cross. This way it's nice and gold, you know? Yeah. Voila. Voila. Beautiful. That's it. The pizza is, is going in the oven right now. About three minutes, four minutes is ready. And now we put, we say, la ciliegina sulla torta. La ciliegina torta. The chef's ciliegina, ciliegina sulla torta. Sulla torta. Cherry on the cake. Ah, like the cherry on top. And voila, I put the cherry on my cake. I love it. Lo voglio. Grazie, grazie, grazie. Now we cut it and then we eat it. Mm. Nice and crunchy in the same time. That's perfect. the perfection of a pizza napoletana. Cheers! 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 Chin chin! Chin chin, chin, chin. in Italian. Mm. No oh words. God. No words. This is dangerous. I'm scared with now that I know how to make this, how often this is going to happen. This is insane. Now, I'm going to have you guys. Do the competition. Game on. Are you guys ready? ready. All right. Let's ready. go.